To Bangladesh now, where at least seven people have been killed and thousands left homeless after a major fire at a Rohingya refugee camp. It tore through Balukali camp in Cox's Bazar and raised hundreds of tents, leaving thousands of people without shelter. Health centres and other facilities have also been destroyed. Let's get an update from our correspondent Tanvir Chaudhary, who's in Dhaka. So, Tanvir, a really sad situation for these Rohingya refugees. Do we know any more about how this fire started and what's happening to, to the people who've been left homeless? Well, let me just bring you some update. I mean, this, there was a second wave of fire actually last night around 11 p.m., and it took the fire service and volunteers to put that fire out till 1 a.m. in the morning today. An absolute devastating situation. Save the Children in a statement yesterday said that nearly 80,000 people could be adversely affected. A lot of the learning center or rather informal schools, clinics and health centers were destroyed. Uh, th this is probably one of the worst tragedy that took place in one of the, the largest uh, refugee camp. Now, a lot of these people took shelter among the family members and friends because there is no particular shelter to actually rehabilitate any of these people during any tragic incident like this. So right now, on voluntary basis, people are taking in those who are left homeless. Now, majority of the population among the refugees in those camps are children, and they're traumatized by this incident. This is not the first time. In May last year, there was a major fire destroying at least 500 huts. January this year, at least nearly 1,000 huts were destroyed in a fire. Nobody still know the exact cause of the fire, but it is likely from cooking gas cylinder. These are known as LPG gas cylinder, which are highly combustible. Uh, each families are given one, so it's possibly from one of those, and the flimsy huts easily catches fire. There are more reports coming in. People are still missing. We'll have to see if the number of dead increases as time goes by. Thank you for the update. Tanvir Chowdhury live in Dhaka.